We are inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Minnesota Twins and the Toronto Blue Jays. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Alec Manoa, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy loves pitching at home. He's had a little bit of a rough go pitching on the road so far this season, but he's pitched really well in his home environment, Leading and I'm sure he's glad Minnesota. and comfortable that he's pitching at home in this one. Luis. Hopefully, he can oh, string together is. another strong home start. Luis Arias is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Uh, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. That's popped up. Guerrero has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. That misses one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. Line but speared on a hop. And there's one gone to begin the evening. So bases are empty with one gone, and into bat next will be the outfielder David Dahl. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. There's a swing and a miss, oh says, oh my goodness. He loses the shillelagh on that one. Look out. Oh, man, as a pitcher, I love seeing that bat go flying out of a batter's hands like that. You just know that you've got him way off balance and way fooled when you see that lumber going flying down one of the baselines. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, Dero, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. Ready with another 0-2. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, two away. That's a pretty impressive That's pitch true. from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches there in advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. So here's Francisco Lindor now. As he'll take a look at ball one. The numbers for him certainly look good. He's at 327. Eight home runs and 22 RBIs. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. Fouled away. Right side, but it's well foul. He'll try again, one, two. Ball. 
This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another 2 2. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Twins are set down 1 2 3. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance, no score. Kenta Maeda, the right hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Yeah, Matt, his last start wasn't a particularly good one. Lasted five innings and ended up taking the loss. He's a much better pitcher than that, and I think he's looking to at least, hopefully, pitch into the sixth or seventh inning in this one. So here is Lourdes Guriel. It lead things off here in the bottom the half of the first. Lourdes. Now the pitch. Guriel. Yeah. And guys as we take a look at the twins at the start of play here tonight they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah guys after the first four games on this road trip they find themselves two and two kind of par for the course but they got to find a way to play a little bit better today kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive Whoa, direction. Damn. One ball and one strike to their DH here tonight. And it's two balls and a strike to the Jays leadoff batter. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead it's two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Batting second, the second baseman, Kevin Vigio. Next, here is Kevin Vigio, and he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that one swung on and missed 0 1. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. 1 and 1 the count now. Here it comes. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. At the plate, Bo Bichette. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that will end up a foul ball.
And that misses one and one. Previous head to head matchups with Kenta Maeda, not great. He's one for eight. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Two out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Cave finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. And inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. All set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Miguel Sano. Miguel. infield in the overshift here now the pitch as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one what a well executed fastball right there down and away if you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. So Paul DeYoung digs in next. He grounds it sharply to third, reined in, and that's the second out. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. He went deep in the contest last night. First offering. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Two and oh now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. One of my pet peeves in the game. 1 0 2 0 3 1. You're all over the heater. How are you late on that fastball. Hernandez will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing nothing. Bottom of the inning now. And coming Leo forward the veteran Toronto, outfielder Cody Bellinger. Fielder, Cody Bellinger. First delivery to him. And that misses for ball one. Bellinger is simply an all around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And gone up into the second deck. It's a solo homer for Cody Bellinger. Number 11 for him on the season. As the Jays get the game's first tally, it's one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Got it. Yeah. 
Rowdy Tellez the next to bat as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. That average pushing up near 350 now. 11 home runs and 34 driven in. And it's quickly 0-2. Base is empty here with nobody out. Again, he sends it out of play. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting six. No left fielder. Teoscar. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Previous head to head matchups with Kenta Maeda, he's three for 15. He also has one home run. Now the 1 0. -oh. A swing and a miss, strike one. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. To the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm and right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. The batter will be Alejandro Kirk, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. First offering on its way. Nope. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And he has a cut at that one, but misses two and one. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We've played two. It's now one nothing Toronto. That brings up Alex Kirilov. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And the pitch.
the 1 0 delivery. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Now the 2 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Three ball, two strike. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. So up steps Joey Bart now. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And now the first pitch. And he swings right over the top of this one. Nothing in one. Bases are empty. One man out. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. The third base Michael. So here's Michael Chavis now. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, down 0 2. He better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has but we'll leave it right there as he strikes out and that ends the inning. Down go the twins in order. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Late now is Jordan Luplo. Previous head to head matchups with Kenta Maeda. He's 0 for 7. Here's the first pitch to him. The 0 1 on its way. Luplo could be scheduled for an appearance at the All-Star game this year. So far he's received the second most votes among right fielders in his league. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All-Star game. Hey fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. And that misses two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him the 0 and 2 but now that they both missed I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in but you can't be too cute either. Here now the 2 2. Three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2 what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey this could be a productive inning. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Dahl. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So one away in the Toronto third. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Now the first pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And it's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. 
heading out towards shallow right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter, number eight. Kevin Biggio stepping up now. Kevin. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Biggio. First pitch on its way. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there. But don't kid yourself, that's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door, or that could get some serious damage done to it. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Into the corner and slicing foul. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark as are we. More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. Yeah it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. The second baseman Luis Arroyo. Pitch on the way. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Soft liner towards short. Close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 0 is a fastball that misses. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Bases are empty, one man out. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And that's the first hit in this one for Minnesota. Hey some guys look out there Dan they don't care they can't execute the ball the other way it's not that easy they're going to hit it as hard as they can right into the shift and let the chips fall where they may. You know it's hard D bro when you've come up all the way through high school little league college ball in the minor leagues and you're used to pulling the ball that's the type of hitter you are. Some of these hitters are going to have to try to make some changes with these exaggerated shifts comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the belt, kicks and deals. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Fouled off. O2 once more. Still no balls and two strikes. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. 
But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight changeup, El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed, and the ball, it just doesn't get there. Here's Miguel Sano as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Oh and one here it comes. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Down the left field line and deep. And foul. Now another 2 2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Back now here at Rogers Center, and here's Heidi. Thanks Matt in between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. Yes they've only scored one run but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff Heidi thanks. So now here is Bo Bichette. Leading he flew up. out in his up. last A.B. Almost Maddie almost Whoa. went deep his last A.B. Yeah. Certainly yeah. just missed it with this guy's big power. He's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Arise has a play. One out. So bases are empty with one out now and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. Yeah he absolutely torched the fastball his last time up pretty much a no doubter so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. One ball no strikes to count. Into his wind up here comes the 1 0. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Chopped weakly to the left. The one two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2 2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. The payoff pitch one more time. Fouled away. The next 3 2. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. And there's out number two. Now that. So Double two three, out, four. nobody on. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. First pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Gone! Yeah. 
So it's a solo shot to dead center. 12 home runs for him now thus far as the Blue Jays take a 2 to nothing advantage. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As he swings and misses at a first-pitch fastball, 0-1. Struck out in his first at-bat. Here's the 0 1 pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 2. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Jays add one more on the solo home run. We played four. It's now 2 nothing Blue Jays. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean you don't have to start panicking right now but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. Strike one to start the at bat. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. One out, base is empty, and into hit next will be Jake Kayer. First offering on its way. Outside, that's ball. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Ball two now. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. The 2 1 home. Swing and a liner. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. So now to the plate Alex Kirilov as he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. So two are gone in the Twins half of the fifth and it'll bring Joey Bart up to bat. First pitch on its way. Cave leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he looks at a slider in there one and one. Oh, 
one and two to the Twins catcher. He's looking pretty passive here hitting with a chance to drive it a run going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning one left for Minnesota. They trail it here two to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Now here's the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. This is line to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Wow, now he batting. almost Catch made it. a heck of a play in left. Yeah, Batty, you can't fold the left fielder there. You'll see he makes a tremendous effort, but he just can't haul it in, and it gets past him for an extra base hit. Like the effort, though. Into the box, Alejandro Kirk. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Two runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now bad. Ready now is Jordan Luplo. Fly out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Maddie. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. Now the first pitch. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. And there are two away now. So next to bat will be Lourdes Gurriel. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. From the belt, kicks and deals. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-0 and delivery down the left field line and deep but this will wind up being a foul ball here's the one and one delivery grounded to first reined in and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over one left for Toronto they're up two to nothing. Now into the box, Michael Chavis. He'll start things out in the sixth the for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove Michael. in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence.
But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Bellinger is right there, one down. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. At the plate now, Luis Arias. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0. Popped him up. Tellez in foul ground. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. David Dahl to the plate now. He's one for two in this one. First pitch on the way. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. The wind up and the 0 1. Popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. They're still down. It's two nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in Kevin Biggio. The second baseman, Kevin Biggio. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Counts one and oh. The one one. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The and with that, we give you a look here at the standings entering play in the AL Central. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And in the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Now here's the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Looked like that one tied him up a bit. A swing and a miss. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. Dahl will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the, the inning. Fielder, Cody Bellinger will stride in one more time Cody. as we flash you back to earlier. Bellinger. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. <laughs> and now the first pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball.
Now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Around first digging for two. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Stepping in now Rowdy Tellers as he'll take strike one on the inside corner two hits in two trips for him thus far. Now the 0 1. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. On 0 2 here he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open so he has to focus on making a good. A swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. So they can't make anything out of the two out double more baseball on MLB Network right after this. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor and guys seventh inning already. Hey I'm not complaining but this one's been flying by. Yeah I'll agree with that Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all and they've trusted their defense to make the plays and they've done just that. Yeah and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. And he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two. Yeah well down two. you better believe they gladly take a lead off walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tying run to the plate. And a good take there is they'll have a lead off man aboard to start the seventh it's ball four. Man that's a tough one to swallow you're hanging on to a slim lead and the last thing you want to do is give up a lead off walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. So the next to bat will be Miguel Sano. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. In the air to straightaway center field. Bellinger's on his horse. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So a runner at first now with one away and that will bring in the Illinois State product Paul DeYoung. From the belt kicks and deals a ball and no strikes. Well these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away and it's one and one now. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here just the body language he knows he's on top of his game executing a nasty slider down the way right there giving this offense no chance. Fastball called strike one and two. Hey that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll two. Here comes the one two. He's in off the plate. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins DH. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. Lindor leads off first with one away. 
swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. Lays out and he's got it. A great play for route number two. Now back the center fielder. Jake. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So as he departs he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard but he cannot lose this one. Josh DeMont will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. In now, Jake Cave. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. A runner on first with two away. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. Well, you see this a lot. A guy comes out of the bullpen throwing bullets but he has a tough time finding the zone. Trust me, velocity is a great weapon if the hitters are tempted to swing. 3-0 and to him now. Has a look, now the pitch. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Ready with the 3 1. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The right fielder, number 19, Alex. So next to hit is Alex Kirilov. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt Matt a base hit here changes this game quite a bit but if they can't score here it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Now here's the first offering as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hernandez is in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Twin strand a pair. They trail things here two to nothing. Joan Duran gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. And now the first pitch down the left field line and deep. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. And he won't offer it that too high. One and two. Well tried to throw a high fastball right by him there didn't work but now we'll see if that sets up some different options wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here got him and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one 
Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. Here's the 0-1. Off the plate, ball one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he fouls this one off. A bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Next to bat for the Toronto, catcher. Alejandro Kirk, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch on its way. Two out, nobody on. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 and 0 now. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. And he lays off again, ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And a fastball misses there, ball four. The batter, the right fielder, Jordan. And Luplo. now in the box, Jordan Luplo. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First delivery to him. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Kirk is off a of first with two away. Whoa, now it's right two and oh. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Blue Jays held in check, but they're on top two to nothing. Scott Ober has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, and now it'll be the catcher, Joey Bart. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. He's got it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Stepping in next, Michael Chavis. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First offering. Popped up. 
Guerrero waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now to the plate, Luis Arias. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. The 1-1 one -one is in there for the second strike. I know closers are known for having the nastiest stuff on the team exploding fastballs devastating off speed but they'd be lying if they didn't say they wanted a two run three run lead. That's exactly what this guy has a chance to do hand it to that monster in the ninth. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch and the inning is over. Down go the twins in order. They're down two to nothing. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and North stepping Toronto. in the long ball the threat Lourdes Guriel. Lourdes. Guriel. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Grounded to third, reined in, and there's one away. Now back, second base. Digging in will be Kevin Vigio. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. And he lays off for ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. One out, nobody on. Now a curveball's in there, one and two now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Hit sharply on the ground, and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them, drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment and able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. To the plate now, Bo Bichette. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. A strike to even the count. One and one. To short, hit hard. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. To second for one. And kids, this is how you always go hard in the second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. So here's Cody Bellinger. In there, now the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. 
trying to move into scoring position with two away but not to be as we get another look don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this Colin Poche comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. New inning set to get underway and into bat next will be the outfielder David Dahl looking for base runners here as they're down two, playing on the road not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And this one's over for a high strike one and one. Now the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. The next twin up, Francisco Lindor. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Set and the pitch. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Now the pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. Kirk recovers and he makes the throw to first. Lindor is retired two down now. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch on the way and it's fouled away. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. A two ball, one strike count to the Twins' first baseman. And this will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Final strike for the twins. Minnesota. Good night. Man we were treated to a nice pitcher's duel in this one. Both starters throwing strikes. They worked deep and both were in command of the game. It really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun game to watch. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Toronto Blue Jays took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Alec Manoa notches his third win of the year as he goes six plus innings and allows only a pair of base hits. Kenta Maeda pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss. Colin Poche records the save his sixth. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.
advance our final line score tonight. First for the victorious.